The Safari Express is the fastest locomotive in the wilderness, but not fast enough to deliver all of the godly messages Ranger Reggie wants to distribute to his campers. So he's enlisted the help of his friend, the infamous inventor and engineer Jasper J. Johnson Jr. to see just how quickly he can make her fly down the rails. So let's stoke up the engine, crank up the speed and climb aboard as we deliver those inspiring letters aboard the Safari Express. Jasper J. Johnson, Jr. Welcome back aboard the Safari Express! Hello, Cousin Jasper J. Johnson, Jr. Oh, Cousin Janet, you doesn't have to call me Johnson. My name is Jasper J. Johnson, Jr. But you can call me Jasper, or you can call me Jr. Or you can... <laughs> Oh, Janet, don't be upset. It's all right. You can call me Johnson. Oh, I'm not upset about that. It's Drosselmeyer. Oh, well, I thought you I thought you went to uh, apologize to Drosselmeyer. Yeah, but I didn't want to. Well, why not? You did do some nasty things to him. I, I, no, but do you know what he said to me? No, what he, he said. He said, I forgive you. Well, isn't that a good thing? I guess, but I just hate the fact that I have to say sorry to Drosselmeyer. He never said sorry to me. Well, he didn't do anything to you. Yes, he did. He he makes me feel bad. Well, that's how you choose to feel, but I'm pretty sure he never did anything to you on purpose. Well, I still don't forgive him. Well, that's not very nice, Janet J. Johnson Jr. No, he doesn't have to call me Johnson. Well, you could call me Janet, well, or you true. could call me Jan, or you could call me JJ, or you could call me Junior, or you could call me JJ Jr., or you could call me JJJ Jr., but you doesn't have to call me Johnson. Well, whatever I call you, I don't think God wants us to be separated from our brothers in the Lord. Why don't we find out what Ranger Reggie has? to say in his letter. Call in the mail. Mail call! There it is. <laughs> Got it. Here you go. Uh, why don't you go ahead and read it, Janet? Okay. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other and forgive one another. If any of you has a grievance against someone, forgive as the Lord forgave you. Hmm, what do you think about that, Cousin Janet? Well, I think whoever wrote this letter doesn't know Drosselmeyer. Yeah, well, I think he knew your heart, and I think he knew that you need to forgive. Wait, I need to forgive? Why do I need to do anything? Well, because God wants you to forgive just as he has forgiven you. Yeah, but, well... Forgiving is hard. You're right. Forgiving is hard, isn't it? Yeah, but it needs to be the first thing we do. You see, holding a grudge hurts us. It just makes it harder for us to be close to the Lord. I don't understand. Why? Well, because when we hold grudges against other people, we're not acting like Jesus. And when Jesus forgave your sins, did he continue to hold those sins against you? No. And does Jesus remind you of those things and bring them up again and again and again? Well, I guess not. Hmm. I understand that. But what if Drosselmeyer doesn't say sorry to me? Forgive him anyway. But what if he does it again? Forgive him anyway. But what if he, he really, really hurts my feelings? Then ask God to help you forgive him and forgive him anyway. After all, does God put conditions on our forgiveness? No, oh, no, that's right. He loves us and he forgives us unconditionally. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what he wants me to do now. Amen. I wonder if today's creature feature is a forgiving one. Let's find out. It's time for our creature feature. Here's our rhyme. It's more than just their woolly coats that separates them from the goats. What do you kids think it is? Sheep. sheep. You think it's a sheep? Any other guesses? 
They, 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 it, is it a sheep? Oh, you were close. Oh. It's a lamb. Oh. oh, look at that. Isn't he a sweet little innocent thing? <laughs> oh, because he's never sinned? That's right. That's exactly right. And that's how God sees us. After he forgives us, he not only forgives our sins, but he forgets all about them. Oh, that's right. It's as if he sees us as innocent little lambs. Yeah, and I think Paul wrote a letter that'll help us understand it even better. So, Janet, you better get on that scripture cycle and pedal till you reach Kazinga. You ready to help her out, kids? Shout out when she gets close. Am I getting closer? Janet, yo, that one is from Paul's letter to the Corinthians. Oh, wait, I know this one. Okay. Uh, it's about love, and it says, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, <laughs> and it keeps no record of wrong. Exactly. And that's how we're to forgive other people, to hold no record of wrong and to hold no grudges. So that's how we should treat our neighbors. Oh, that reminds me of the camper's code. Hey, guys, let's say it all together. Come on, stand up. Everybody stand up, raise your right hand, and say the camper's code with me. I will love God with all my heart. I will love my neighbor as myself. I will be a light wherever I go. Oh, can we sing a song with Miss Maribel now? That would be great. Miss Maribel, would you come lead us in the Camp Critter song? I'd love to, but we need to put a flag up here. What do mm, we ask her? Can you want to come up here? Her. All right, Miss Emily is going to come up, and we're going to reveal what this looks like. There we go. And if you want to go ahead and pull the flag all the way up. Nice. Oh, look at that oh, what a cute little lamb. Lamb. Awesome job. Thank you, Miss Emily. All right, but we can't really move anywhere unless we have what? A conductor. Yeah, we so can get one of those. You want to come up and conduct? Come on up. All right. All right, Mr. Noah's coming up. Let's see if the hat fits. Uh, let's see. Oh, here we go. Awesome. Perfect. All right, let's see. But wait a minute. What is a lamb sound? What's the sound that the lamb makes? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a conductor, we got the sound. We just need the right speed. Uncle Vito, I think we're gonna do something a little slow. What do you think? I don't wanna fall off the train. Let's see. I spied a little lamb running by. Jumped on the train, let out a cry. Bah, bah, bah. We forgive as we're forgiven, and forever we'll be living. The little lamb is here to lead the way. Bah, bah, bah. The serpent is here to lead the way. The mere cat is here to lead the way. Mew, mew, mew. The lovebird is here to lead the way. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Let's go to Camp Venture today. That was a really, That was about the right speed. That yeah. was perfect speed. Perfect. I didn't perfect. fall yeah. off. I didn't hurt myself. Uh oh. What'd Mr. Conductor. Do you think we can go a little faster, Mr. Conductor? Yes. What is that? Yes. He says yes. All right. Mr. Conductor yes. says yes. yes. Can we do it? I think we can do it. Here we go. I spied a little lamb running by. Jumped on the train, let out a cry. Bam, bam, bam. We forgive us, we're forgiven. But forever we'll be living. The little lamb. Is here to lead the way. The mere cat is here to lead the way. You, you, you. The lovebird is here to lead the way. Tree, tree, tree. Let's go to camp. 